Hello YouTube friends, I'm Jonah. And today I'm going to show you how I replaced my vent tube on my hot water tank. So this is my hot water tank. And I had it replaced a while ago before I started making YouTube videos. And I had HVAC guys install it for me. This included the power vent motor. And they also connected the hot and cold water pipes and the gas line. But I didn't know there was an extra cost to reinstall the new code PVC vent pipe. So to give me a choice, I could pay an extra $450 or I could do it myself. So of course, you know the answer to that, that's why I'm doing this video. And before we start, take a look at this vent motor from my furnace. It's very similar to the power vent motor that sits on top of my hot water tank right now. And they do both the same thing. They suck out any carbon monoxide gases that may escape and vent it outside. And I think we all know how dangerous carbon monoxide poisoning is. And if you're interested in how to replace your old vent motor from your furnace, check out my linked thumbnail at the end of this video. So this is my power vent motor on top of my hot water tank. And on top of the vent motor is the two bolts and rubber sleeves. Just undo the two bolts and slip in the new pipe. And now you'll see the new white PVC vent pipe I installed. And the new code calls for white special gas PVC rated at 65 Celsius or 149 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, this is all two inch PVC similar to the old black one I replaced. Notice my first 90 degree elbow. And I picked it up at our local hardware store. Which costs $349. And here's my second 90 degree elbow. Now notice my steel strappings. This steel strapping holds up our pipe. And it's very important to know the steel strapping must be adjusted so that the pipe drops down towards the outside vent end, maybe an inch and a half. And this costs $4.99. Notice my two inch coupling, and I bought two of them. And they cost $1.99 each. And finally we have our 10 foot gas vent pipe. And I bought two of them. And they're $28.78 each. So remember again, the pipe should drop downwards towards the outside vent. Maybe by about an inch and a half. And I was told the reason we do this is because any moisture build up in the pipe should drain outside and not back into the system. Notice I have two more 90 degree elbows. And on the outside, notice my last 90 degree elbow. That's a total of five 90 degree elbows. And underneath is my grill. This is good so birds do not come in and nest in your pipe. And the grill cost $3.99. Alright, you have to use a special PVC glue for this. PVC solvent cement. And it's a gas vent class 2. Which has a 65 Celsius maximum temperature. And if you want to learn how to apply this PVC cement, check out my thumbnail links at the end of this video. I have other PVC projects that show you how. This costs 
And finally, we also have a PVC saw to cut our pipe. And this costs $26.99. And here's my old black PVC pipe right here, which I now use for other things, like an extension for backwashing my pool pump in the summer. So you're probably saying, how much did I save by doing it myself? Well, my total cost of parts was $123.95. And the HVAC guys quoted me for $450. Therefore, I saved over $326. And I was very happy with that. What do you think? So comment below if you think it was worth it. So, if you liked my video and found it helpful, give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Because this will help me make more DIY videos that help out our YouTube viewers like yourself. Also hit that notification bell so you always get my latest videos. And as always, thanks for watching.